Okay, we're flying from Moffett Field to Half Moon Bay. I am going to set an altitude for the autopilot. Um, let's say 4,000. Turn the flight director on. And we're going to want navigation when I turn that on. Okay, we should be ready. Don't need this on the screen. All right, take off the parking brake. And here we go. Okay, lift off. I like to keep it 10 degrees or lower until I can get some speed going. And then I'll worry about navigation. Okay, so we seem to be climbing smoothly and uh, turning a little bit. That's okay. I'll make up for that in a minute. Okay, so I guess we're flying over Mountain View Palo Alto area, something like that. Okay, so I think there's enough altitude going to hand it over to autopilot. And what is he doing? So far so good. We are going a little bit fast. I'm going to dial it back a bit. Okay, so we should level off. Fly right back over the airport. As soon as we get back on track. There we go. Okay, so what's our speed? We're going a little fast. We're going to slow down first. And then I'm going to go to flight level change. And we're going to start climbing. So I need to give it some gas. Actually, what I need to do is a little hard to see, but turn down that speed from 107 to more like, oops, that's way too slow, okay. Not used to the clicking on the Garmin. All right, I want something around 82 maybe. All right, so we should be climbing. I just have to watch my uh, airspeed. Give him some gas so we can actually get to 82 and start climbing. And actually 79 might be a little better. Okay. Okay, so autopilot seems to have things under control. Um, good time to look around. I wonder if that is Skyline Park. Kind of looks like it might be. Um,
Let me go take a look at that again. Yeah, that's gotta be gotta be Shoreline Park Mountain View. Okay, airspeed looks good. Uh, still climbing at a good rate. Don't know how high I need to be to go over those mountains. Um, so I might have to prepare to go higher. Kind of seems like it. Okay, so let's use the drone a little bit. Okay, not locked on properly, so we'll turn that on. Okay. That's a cool shot. All right, so I'm going to unlock and look around, look around a little bit more freely. I'll leave follow on. Letting the co-pilot handle all the ATC traffic. There, there we go. Wow, look at all that. That's very pretty. My low-performing HP laptop is barely managing to render it overclocked, but it seems to be doing a good job. The frame rate is low, but that's fine for now. I'm getting a better graphics card later. Uh, must be like the high school. Well, that's Stanford, I guess. Wow. Looks like the Stanford Stadium. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Okay. In external view, I think I can zoom in on the stadium. Take a look at it. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. All right, so while autopilot takes care of flying, um, it's not much to do except just look around. In the cabin, you can zoom in, look at stuff. Uh, my buildings are all super low resolution because that's all my graphics card can handle. But the game's not any less playable. You don't really need that level of detail when you're up in the air. Um, I love the ability to look around and zoom in. Nortal approach JTS 163. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Okay, maybe we're okay on the hills. Um, doesn't look that high, actually. In fact, I might even want to start dropping altitude a little bit. Um, let me go down to 3,500. Let's see. Okay, so we're holding at 4,000. We want to drop to 3,500. All right, back off the gas a little bit and let the plane do its thing. Should check the check the speed I set for the engine. What do I have it set? Ninety. That's a little bit high. 
Let's drop that down. Um, 83, I'm okay with. Okay, so I need to give it a little bit less gas so that the Garmin can find 3500 at 83 knots. Looks like the airport is straight ahead in sight. I think that's Crystal Reservoir down there over to the right with all the water. Okay, so yeah, the hills will be no problem. They look a little high, um, and I know they get up to 5,000 feet in parts, but didn't affect us. That must be Kenyatta Road down there. I don't think it's 280. Maybe it's 280. Seems awfully curvy, but it could be. Okay, I think we need a little bit more power. We reached our target altitude and didn't need the drop and throttle. Uh, speed is good. Once I get past this little ridge, I'll drop down to I don't know, 2,500. Kilo Hotel Alpha Foxtrot, traffic JTS 16311 miles east, 3,500 feet inbound to land, runway 12. Okay, so I think we announced our intention to land. Sounds like there's no live ATC at Hackman Bay Airport. Wow, the water's really pretty. That's beautiful. Okay. Anyway, I need to quickly drop altitude. So I want to go to 2500 first. Okay, so let's drop throttle. Uh, speed is set to 77, okay. So I think this is gonna be fine. Dropping nice and quickly. It's kind of hard to judge how high the hills are. I don't have maps. I should really have some kind of a pilot's reference website up or something. Okay, as soon as we pass these hills and drop a little lower, I'm gonna take over from autopilot. Drop the engine just a little bit more. I want to get the altitude down. And 2500 seems pretty good here. I'll drop it as I take control and head towards the landing pattern. All right, so I'm going to go disengage the autopilot. It leaves the trim where it was, so the plane won't jerk or whatever. But it might start getting a little unstable and start heading over there. And I'm going to descend and build up some speed. Probably need to be around 2,000 to enter the landing pattern. It's a little fast. We have a tailwind. Now 
It's really pretty looking down. This is still a little fast. I need to slow this down. Really like to keep it between 75 and 80 most of the time. Um, it can handle faster. I don't know at what point it starts actually stressing out the plane. Um, but it seems like there's no need to rush. And I like to keep it at a reasonable speed. Get a little more power maybe. Um, cool. Well, I've not landed here before during the day. I landed at night. Couldn't see anything. And then as soon as I enter the pattern, I'm going to put the flaps down, slow it down, get ready for landing. That's when I get my new graphics card to be able to see a lot more detail. But again, when you're up in the air, this amount of detail seems fine. Physics seem to be working properly. Um, so it's doing its job as far as teaching me to fly. My next goal though is sightseeing, and so I'll need the better graphics card for that. Okay, I can burn off a little bit of speed by trying to get some altitude heading into the pattern. I don't know if I need that much altitude or not. I find when landing it really helps to have both hands on the joystick uh, just to keep things really steady. At some point I want to get a nicer setup with a real yoke. Um, with the joystick, I've got a Thrustmaster Hotas X. Um, it's doing a really good job. I'm really enjoying it. Works really well. It's not that expensive. It's, it came with um, T rudder pedals. Okay, so a little fast. Let me see if I can burn this off. Heading towards altitude here. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to curve around and then come back to land. That's nice. Um, okay, I think now is actually the time to put down the flaps and get some extra lift going. Get the speed down. Don't get the speed down too much. Okay, I think I do need to get some altitude here. Gotta watch my speed. I don't necessarily have to go that high as long as I can get through the pattern and get my speed right. I don't think it complains if you're below the pattern. It does complain if you're above. To get a little bit more engine power would be wise at this point. Maybe I will try to get some altitude. Alright, well if I can hold this speed, this should work just fine. Um, Kilo Hotel Alpha Foxtrot, traffic JTS the game is happy with it. Plane seems to be happy with it. So, we'll see how this goes. It's probably going to change though. I'm probably going to have to keep an eye on it quite a bit. It's in fact dropping, get some more power. The stall point 
is that white line. When I go below 40, oh yeah, I'm going too slow. Yeah. When I go below 40 is when the, it'll stall with the flaps down. So I have to be careful about that. So, um, yeah, I was going too slow. Stopped climbing a bit, that seemed to help. Okay, so it's not complaining about my speed. I think I'm good all the way down at this speed. Although I think when I turn it may, it may change suddenly, depending on wind conditions. I'm already feeling a little bit of wind over here. And a little fast. Who is stuttering? You'd think it wouldn't have that much to be rendering with just the ocean, but maybe it's downloading stuff. Okay, there it goes. Um, probably downloaded caching. All right, well, is this feeling comfortable so far? My speed is rising too much. Yep. Or drop it down. And then one more turn to the runway. Um, yeah, we'll slow down, we'll slow down. If I can, the turn will slow us down. What Alpha I'm Fox turning Drive, into is on final so to say too to fast. So let's just make a nice easy turn right towards the runway. Uh, speed's okay. We want to drop down to the stall point once we actually get there, but not before. So let's see what I need to do to keep afloat. And then we want to stall it, holding off as long as we can. Well, I'm more stuttering, but it should be fine. Okay, there we go. I could have held off more, but that's fine. Okay, so we have some ATC stuff to do once we land. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Okay, so ATC, um, now it's, uh, okay, I don't think I need to do anything. We just landed, so let me just taxi off somewhere and shut her down. I made an adjustment to my T rudder pedals, adjusting the sensitivity way down, and now it's a real joy to use those to fly or to uh, steer on the ground. Um, just a deep kind of circular curve, but uh, it's making a huge difference. Just super easy to make micro adjustments. Probably going a bit fast. Um, I'm not sure where to taxi off to, but I'll find somewhere. I see planes parked over on the left side. I should probably turn here. Uh, you can hit the left brake and turn and slow down at the same time, which is kind of nice. Okay. That's a bit fast. Oh. 
Uh, if I get the dialogue off the screen, it might be easier to see where I'm going. Um, hmm. This sort of looks like a lot of airports. You get off the runway, and there's a big boxy building. Um, I've seen that pattern repeat now a bunch of times. Interesting. It's probably the default airports just follow basically the same pattern or something. Um, yeah, these pedals, this is fantastic. Love it. All right, let's get some more ground speed going here. So I'm assuming I can park up ahead. I see some airplanes, some stuff going on. So I think I can park there. Oh, look at the fog off in the distance. Oh, nice, here we go. I'll just run right over the light, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, cool, a bunch of airplanes parked. I'll go find a spot. They don't really have a place designated for me. Maybe I can uh, ask for something. Let's see what ATC says. And now it's clear runway. Okay. Kilo Hotel Alpha Foxtrot traffic JTS 163 is clear of the runway. All right. Well, don't see a way to engage anybody in the ground, but that's okay. As soon as I park, I think things will just work out. Yeah, if you get good at both using the rudder and using the brakes independently, you can get it makes uh, getting around very straightforward without going too fast. I'm um, going to need to get this thing out of the way. These need to be more transparent. I wonder if there's a setting for that. But I do see a place to park. So let's just park right over here. sure if that's exactly how I'm supposed to park, but that seems fine. Turn off the engine. Turn off the airplane. And we're done. <laughs>